Chapter 7, Advice from a Caterpillar Alice and the caterpillar stared at each other for some time in silence. At last, the caterpillar took the pipe out of its mouth and addressed her in a lazy, sleepy voice. Who are you? the odd-looking blue caterpillar asked. This was not an encouraging conversation opener, but Alice replied. I... I hardly know, sir. I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I must have changed several times since then. What do you mean by that? the caterpillar asked sternly. Explain yourself at once. I can't explain myself, Alice replied, because I'm not myself, you see. I don't see, said the caterpillar. I'm afraid I can't put it more clearly, Alice went on, for I can't understand myself. Being so many different sizes in one day is very confusing. It is not, said the caterpillar. Well, perhaps you haven't found it so yet, Alice snapped back. But one day you will turn into a butterfly, and then you'll feel odd, won't you? Not a bit, the caterpillar answered. Well, perhaps your feelings are different, said Alice. All I know is, it would feel very odd to me. You, said the caterpillar angrily. Who are you? This brought them back to the very beginning. Alice was getting fed up with the insect's remarks, so she said, I think you ought to tell me who you are first. Why? the caterpillar asked. Alice did not know quite how to answer that, as she did not have a good reply. She gave up and began to walk away. Wait, said the caterpillar. Come back. I have something important to say. Alice turned around and listened. Keep your temper, it said. Is that all? said Alice, annoyed. No, said the caterpillar. It paused a few moments before continuing. So you think you're changed, do you? I'm afraid I am, sir, Alice said. I can't remember things I used to, and I don't stay the same size for more than ten minutes at a time. What size do you want to be? Oh, I'm not particular, Alice said. I just don't like changing so often, you see. I don't see, the caterpillar said rudely. Are you content now? Well, I would like to be a little larger, sir, if you wouldn't mind, Alice replied. Three inches is a terrible height to be. It is a very good height, the caterpillar said, offended, pulling itself upright. It's exactly three inches tall. For you, perhaps, Alice replied, but I'm not used to it. You'll get used to it in time, said the caterpillar. Alice was tired of going back and forth with this creature, so she decided to wait until it chose to speak again. After a minute or two, the caterpillar yawned lazily. As it climbed down off the mushroom and crawled away into the grass, it said, One side will make you grow taller, and the other side will make you grow shorter. One side of what? Alice thought to herself. The other side of what? Of the mushroom, said the caterpillar, as if it had read her mind. In another moment, the creature slinked off and was soon out of sight.